Hi everyone, Ryan here, Ion Capital Solutions. So, you want to know how big the commissions are. Is this worth your time? How do you even calculate these commissions, right? At the end of the day, anybody interested in, in getting involved in a business or starting a business online, you care about the bottom line, right? And that's how much you can make. Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so how big are the commissions? Well, would you believe that there are people who actually get involved in this space and don't understand how to calculate a commission? They have a deal, or even worse, they're just referring and submitting deals to either a lender or another broker, or part of a daisy chain. They're not sure what the actual commission is. They just know that some money is coming their way if the deal funds. That's a terrible way to go into business. And you'd be surprised just how many people are functioning that way right now. There's a big difference between being a professional business loan broker, an expert consultant, and just being a referral partner, an ISO partner with a lender. Okay, at the end of the day, we have to know how to do our do, do the math for ourselves, and that's just not on the deal itself and how all that works. Of course, I would hope that anybody in this space knows how to do the math for themselves as far as putting together offers, calculating affordability, things like that, but also how to calculate your own commission at the very least, right? So with that being said, let's take a look. <clears throat> so how is a commission calculated? Well, really, whenever we charge, we talk about charging the borrower money, right? There's origination plus broker points. So the origination is charged by the lender. The broker points is, is charged by the broker. Now, whether you're an, an external broker, an independent broker signed up with a lender, right? The middleman, so to speak, and you're charging your broker points or it's the broker working for the direct lender, hiding their broker points in origination, the cost is the same. It is not more expensive going to, to, to a broker as opposed to a lender. It's the person you talk to on the phone when you're borrowing money and is helping you get the loan is the broker. They're receiving a commission for working for you, working with you. It's, it's how they earn money. How do I know that? Because I work for direct lenders. Okay, so that that's how it works. All right, so with that being said, we don't share an origination, however. It's the broker points that we earn from. The broker earns separately from the firm, earning in not just origination, but of course, interest, right? When somebody borrows money, they pay interest. The lender, right, and their syndicating partners, the ones investing money into the deal, are seeing a return, right? So the lender's getting a piece of that return and, of course, origination. But the broker points, that's what we as loan brokers get, the broker points, okay? So with that being said, how much is origination, right? Usually it's between one and two points for any given lender. That's mostly what you'll see, one to two points. I've seen three, but generally one to two points. Okay. What is points? We're getting to that. Okay. How many points do we charge as brokers? Right? Well, you see, it depends. But before we can really talk about how many we charge, we have to understand what are broker points or what are points in general, right? Well, points, in other words, is 1%. So if we charge three points, it's 3%. Percent of what might you ask? The loan amount, the funded amount, right? And that's how it works. So how many points do we charge? Well, as brokers, well, anywhere from half a point to 11 points or half a percent to 11% generally. Okay. Obviously that's a big range. Okay. The reality is <clears throat> it depends a lot on the type of product. Um, if you're doing a large real estate deal, right? You're not going to charge a lot of points. If you're doing a term loan for a business and the funded amount, you know, is, is $100,000 or less, you're going to charge a bunch of points. It, it just depends. We could be here all day talking scenarios and we're going to go over a couple examples here in a second, but it depends. It depends on the loan amount. It depends on the product type. There are high risk products that charge very high interest. You charge a lot of points. It's very expensive money. There are other products 
such as real estate investment refinancing where their interest rates very, very low and we don't charge a lot of points. So it, it varies. It depends, right? It depends. So let's take a look. Well, how many points do we charge? Well, let's first understand on our calculators how we actually do that, okay? Or how we can do the math here on the, the chalkboard, all right? It's the loan amount times the point. And understand that a point equals a percent. And a pe percent is represented on a calculator. 1% is 0 0.01. Or 10 points is 0 0.10, right? So it's the loan amount times the number of points, right? So let's look at an example. Well, if we had a $3 million commercial real estate deal, okay, we'd be looking at charging, say, one point usually is what you'd charge. You wouldn't really charge more than that, okay? So 1% of $3 million is $30,000, and that's the gross commission. And that's how it works, okay? And I say gross commission because that's the commission before split, right? If there's a commission split, right? Just for the sake of argument, 50% to me, 50% to you, right? That's commission split. So gross commission is the total commission before we were to split, right? If you're working with a brokerage, right? Kind of thing. Or if you're an independent broker on your own, right? You just get the whole gross commission, however, however you're set up, whatever you're doing, right? But that's how we calculate it, right? Versus say, a, uh, a business funding deal, such as a term loan, 100000 right? What if we charge 10 points, right? Well, 10% of $100,000 is $10,000, right? So it's a $10,000 gross commission. And again, just to back up and do the math, right? $100,000 times 10 points, which is 0 0.10 on the calculator, is what gets you the $10,000 commission. And that's how it works. That's how you do the math. So there's nuance here because there's lots of different products. You're charging low points, high points. The funded amounts you know, are low, they're high, they're all over the place. So how do you work it out? Well, that takes education and experience and know-how. And you have to understand how it all works. This is a basic explanation in a video. But this can give you an idea of how to calculate right, and how it works. So when you're funding a deal, find out how much you're going to earn, <laughs> right? At the end of the day, you want to understand how the math works. And when you depend on others to do the math for you, you're not in the know. Don't be surprised when you're surprised, right? Anyway, are there, uh, are the, excuse me, I meant to put here, are, are there big commissions at the top? Sorry about that. And can you earn them, right? The answer is yes, but, okay? And what I mean by that is, there's absolutely very big commissions to earn in this space, okay? But it depends on the product type, depends on the borrower, depends on the deal type. Can you earn these commissions? Yes, but you have to know what you're doing. If you think you're gonna fund, you know, Aunt Sally's Italian Ice Shop, a $5,000 loan, and that's gonna put a big commission in your pocket, you're, no way. You know, same thing if you're going to give her, a, you know, a $10,000 loan. No, it's not going to put a lot of money in your pocket. So you have to understand which deals feature what types of commissions. And this is why we say it's about packaging products together. It's about large portfolio deals, large commercial deals. You have to understand how to make money and consistent money, right? That You can earn consistent commissions at a reasonable amount. You can urge, earn large commissions, more spread out, far and fewer in between. There's different ways of doing it, but yes, you can earn very big commissions. And yes, you can earn them, but you need experience. And if you don't have experience, you need to leverage a mentor who can help you by leveraging their expertise to get you across the finish line, right? And so that's the answer to the question. That's how it works. That's how we calculate these commissions. If you want to learn more, if you want to be one of those guys or girls out there who's earning big commissions, well, it all starts with learning. And what better way to learn than to earn while you learn? And that's exactly what we can do for you here at ION. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for your time. Catch you in the next video.